Taylor here. Getting financing for your business can be you know, complicated. Um, you know, a lot of small companies get started out of the owner's own personal funds, your savings, um, maybe a home equity loan, using credit cards. Hey, you might go to friends and family, see if they can help you. And of course, there's venture capitalists and angel investors and that sort of thing. These are great ways to get your business started. Uh, but you know, there's also an organization called the SBA. And the Small Business Administration uh, is in the business of, of guaranteeing loans to small businesses throughout North America. Now, annually, they make over $10 billion a year in loans. But there's a lot of myths and, and misunderstandings about what SBA does and how it works. So I thought I'd make this brief video for you, kind of go into some of those details. Well, there's going to be, when you do look for SBA financing, okay, there's some questions that the SBA, or the actually the lender, and first off, let me explain that SBA does not loan money directly to you. Rather, they work with banks and other non-bank lenders by guaranteeing a portion of the loan. And so, in essence, in case the loan goes bad, the lender can go back to the SBA and, and, and get uh, some compensation from the, from the SBA. Um, so with that in mind, <clears throat> when you apply for an SBA insured loan, there's going to be some basic questions that the lender is going to want to know. And the first thing they're going to want to know is, what are you going to use the money for? The next question is going to be, how much do you need and when do you need it? They're going to ask you, how are you going to pay this loan back? And what are you going to use it, pay it back with? What kind of collateral do you have to put up for the loan? And are you willing to personally guarantee the loan? These are some of the questions that a lender, a loan officer uh, who's working on SBA loans is going to ask you. So it's important to have these uh, ducks in a row, of, so to speak. Now, here's some, uh, some good tips for you to have when you do apply for an SBA loan. Number one, you should have a business plan ready to go. You should have a statement of purpose, which spells out exactly from the loan officer what you're using the loan for, exactly the questions I mentioned earlier. How are you going to pay it back? How are you going to pay it back? How much are you going to need? Uh, for how long? Etc. And also make sure you have your financial statements lined up. That's things like your profit and loss statement, uh, your balance sheet. It's a good idea to actually uh, schedule an appointment with your CPA prior to applying for a small business loan uh, to have, again, have these ducks in a row. Let me give you some quick facts about the SBA. Uh, number one, there is no such thing as 100% financing through the SBA. They simply don't do that. Also, they don't provide um, a f a financing for, uh, 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 there, there's no grants that they have uh, for starting a business. They don't do such a thing. Your personal and uh, business credit is extremely important to the SBA. They want to make sure they're in the business of backing uh, uh, good businesses and people who are responsible. You must be willing to personally uh, guarantee the loan. Okay, so they won't do a loan without your signature personally guaranteeing the loan. They won't finance non-for-profit businesses. They will not finance uh, the type of business where you're purchasing real estate for investment. And they won't finance any kind of businesses in the pyramid uh, sales type business. And their maximum exposure to any single business is one and a half million dollars. So these are important things to know. The most common SBA program out there is called the 7A program. Um, <clears throat> it's not fully guaranteed. Remember, as I said, no SBA loan is 100% is guaranteed, but they guarantee up, upwards of 85% of, uh, of the loan amount. Uh, there's a loan standard based on the size, uh, the type of loan, and the purpose of the loan. Now, your business must be independently owned and operated. Uh, and uh, so here are some guidelines. Number one, uh, if you're in the wholesale business, you can't have any more than 100 employees. All right? If you're in the retail or service industry, your annual revenues cannot exceed $21 million a year. 
If you're in manufacturing, you can't have over 100 employees, or I'm sorry, over uh, 500 employees. And if you're in the construction industry, your average sales can't exceed one and three quarters, million, or I'm sorry, 17 and a half million dollars a year. Now, loan terms are restricted, okay, and they're restricted in this way. <clears throat> if you're borrowing money from the SBA for working capital, you get up to send, uh, seven to ten years to pay that back. For machinery, up to 25 years, and for real estate, up to 25 years. So that's the 7 uh, a program kind of in a nutshell. Now, they also have a microloan program, which is put out through uh, non-for-profit organizations, such as your economic development office in your community. Now, their maximum loans are going to be no more than $35,000. Actual average amount is about $13,000 a year, or a loan amount, rather. They still require that personal guarantee, and they may require some type of industry-specific training and certification before they make the loan. So it's good to know these things. And finally, uh, the, the, the SBA also has some specialty loans for, like, uh, exports and so forth. They also have what's called a 504 program. Now, that's going to be designed more for uh, the, the acquisition of fixed assets for your company, uh, for your small business. Uh, and it's partially funded, uh, t there has to be a 10% investment uh, either from the borrower or from the CDC, and they may have uh, job creation requirements in granting the 504 program. The, seven, the 7A is b the bottom line, the basic SBA type alone. But remember, you're going to have to have some of your own cash involved in the deal. That's just the way it is. Anybody tells you any different. Does that mean that there's lenders out there offering insure, or SBA insured loans uh, that are doing 100%? There are some out there, uh, but again, there's still going to be a personal guarantee. There's going to be collateral, possibly uh, taking a mortgage on your real estate or whatever, whatever. But the SBA in and of itself does not guarantee 100% of the loan. That's important to know. Get your business plan together. Get your financial statements together. Take a look at what we call the three C's of credit, which is character, capacity, and collateral, because that's what the underwriters are going to be looking at. Uh, how stable you are, um, your cash flow, the ability to repay the loan on a timely basis, and are they secured in the event that you can't repay the loan. These are the things you're going to be looking for. When you're ready to go and apply for that loan, have your financial statements, have your statement of purpose, uh, have all your I's dotted and T's crossed. And you may very well find yourself getting a small business loan with extremely favorable and competitive terms. I'm Bruce Naylor, your Frugal Tech. Always make sure to uh, uh, comment our videos, rate them. We love to hear from you. We put on a live webcast uh, every day between 1 and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just visit www.frugal.com. Uh, Click the link that says Frugal Tech Live. Hey, Bruce Naylor, remember, it's in your shop, not making your money or saving your money. Get it out of there. I'll talk to you later.